Everyone seems to have a carnival favorite, and for many, it's the food. Our Josh Peterson is out at the Bemidji JC's Water Carnival, where for some, it's all about the food. Thanks, Dennis. Right now, I'm standing among almost every kind of carnival treat imaginable. But this year, the Bemidji JC's got a little creative and expanded their carnival concessions. At the Water Carnival, just down from the Midway, is a land of tasty, delicious carnival delights. Everything from fry bread tacos, carnival candies, and foot-long hot dogs. This year's carnival has just about something to satisfy every taste. So this year we actually managed to bring back a lot of old favorites, funnel cakes, deep fried Oreos, we have our barbecue trucks, we've got foot-long hot dogs, we've got our soda from the Girl Scouts, lots of things that everyone look forward to every year. This year, the Bemidji JCs decided to reinvent their concession area, styling it more like a food court, featuring plenty of areas to sit so that everyone can enjoy all the carnival has to offer. But there is more than just food. Water carnival attendees can take home an old-time photograph keepsake or try their hand at one of the Midway games. But for just about everyone, it always comes back to the food. Some of the vendors are award-winning concessionaires. D&D concessions were named best NFL concession food at TCF Bank Stadium last year. For this vendor season, it always kicks off in Bemidji. We've been coming down here for over 20 years, so we just keep doing it, and uh, we love being out on the road. We get a lot of friends around in the area, and we just love coming here. With cheese curds ready to go and foot-long hot dogs ready to be served, the Water Carnival is a great place to walk and burn those extra calories. Now all the food concessions open daily beginning at noon. The many vendors here in the food court are ready to fulfill that carnival craving. Dennis, back to you. Thanks, Josh. The water carnival continues through July 4th, running from noon until midnight each day. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.